What's up, dude? Dude, that's YouTube. This is our coming at you with another Arc Daily Guide, and uh, today's going to be a discussion video about uh, all the changes that have happened with Feral since my original Feral video, um, and all the changes that are coming to us in 8.1. So uh, Blizzard has released changes for us on the forums. I will link that in the description below. Um, but f before I get into the video and to in depth with all of our changes and everything that's happened over the last month with us. I just want to thank everybody once again for supporting the channel and subscribing and watching and just commenting and having all this good talk with me. It's been really fun. It's been really awesome. And I've been having a lot of fun engaging with you guys. So thank you. Um, getting into the video though, um, I'm just going to talk about the changes that have happened in the past already that most of you are probably pretty familiar with. We're not going to take too much time going over these, so I'll be quick. Um, on September 6th, uh, there was a PvP hotfix. We had no feral changes there. On the 7th, there was another hotfix. Once again, no feral changes. Uh, there was a class tuning patch on September 11th uh, where feral had a damage increase of 5%. Uh, we had an Azerite trait tuning patch on uh, September 17th where they reduced the damage on Laser Matrix by 30%, and they reduced the damage on Thunderous Blast by 35%, and then they buffed Blood Mist by 125%. So that that was uh, kind of a hard patch for us with for the people that ran Thunderous Blast. Um, however, it gave us a little more hope with Blood Mist. Um, I did try it out with one piece of Blood Mist. It says it increases your damage, like your rake damage, by about 450 or so over the course of its duration. I tested it, not taking into account the initial damage or any critical damage, just a r just regular rake ticks at regular damage for the amount of full damage rake ticks I got, which was 5. Um, I saw a damage increase of 980 something wearing one piece of uh, blood mist gear versus not wearing any blood mist gear at all. So it did boost our rake damage quite a bit and it's pretty fun. Um, other than that though, nothing really for Feral. Uh, PvP balance tuning, we had another patch shortly after that uh, where they nerfed raking ferocity by 50% in PvP. Everyone was pretty heartbroken about that, we still are. And then we had probably the most useless buff we've ever gotten since BFA and that's that came from the Azerite tuning patch on September 25th where they buffed Iron Jaws by 66% in PvE. Now it might seem like that's okay, but the setup to get into Iron Jaws, uh, just like the proc rate, the cooldown on Iron Jaws being 20 seconds, um, it's useless, but it's very fun. I am sporting two pieces of Iron Jaws gear right now, and I'm critting for 103,000 damage on world mobs. So, you know, it's fun, but it's kind of useless in an actual raid or uh, PvP setting. So. That's really all the major changes that have come to Feral in particular, um, not including just like the PvP healing and the PvP uh, c critical damage stuff, uh, nerfs and all, the, all that fun juicy stuff that kind of affected everybody. So yes, Feral uh, did get a healing debuff as well in that Azerite tuning patch, I'm pretty sure. So like our regrowth was healing for less, all of our heals are healing for less. The overall resto affinity tree, uh, like our talent tree, in the talent tree the restoration affinity got, got nerfed. So it was kind of a hard hit for all specs, but Feral specifically we only saw an Iron Jaws increase. Useless, but fun. Alright, so moving into the 8.1 changes. So all the changes that are coming in 8.1 uh, are mostly buffs for the most part. So I'm just going to kind of start um, with some of the more basic ones. So Berserk, uh, we can see a Berserk increase in by 5 seconds. That's pretty much it. Uh, the cooldown stays the same. It extends our duration by 5 seconds. Our abilities cost 40% less still and it increases our maximum energy by 50 once again so awesome that stays the same unaffected for the most part minus we get five extra seconds uh, they posted something there about damage modifiers uh, for our abilities so we could look to be seeing about an 8% damage increase on rip rake shred thrash maim ferocious bite moon fire and brutal slash which will be very nice uh, ferocious Bite, uh, they have removed um, the effect when you Ferocious Bite a target below 25% health, it'll refresh the duration of your rip, so we're exclusively just getting that now from Sabertooth. 
Other than that, there is no other changes to Ferocious Bite. Uh, mastery, our mastery is changing, so uh, right now it's just affecting our bleeds, but when 8.1 launches it's going to affect our bleeds and our finishing moves. So not too sure if this effect will stack with Rip, uh, but it's assumed probably not to. Uh, the forums don't think it'll happen, so I'm kind of with the forums on that, that'd be pretty crazy. But if it does, that would be, that would be pretty awesome. Uh, Rake, for the most part, is unaffected. Uh, brutal Slash. We are getting a 10% buff to the scaling of our attack power, so instead of... Uh, oh, and we are getting... and it's going to cost 5 energy less, so it's going to scale... Uh, instead of scaling with 50% of our attack power, it's going to scale with 60% of our attack power, and it's going to cost 5 energy less, so that's really awesome. Sabertooth is now going to be... Uh, moved from the level 90 talent. It's not going to be a tier 1 talent, and it's going to be in place of Predator. So Sabretooth still does the same thing. Uh, Ferocious Bite deals 20% increased damage and refreshes the duration of Rip on your target. So it does the same thing, but they moved it from a 90 level talent spot to a 15 level talent spot. And then we have Savage Roar. So they have buffed Savage Roar. They have moved it from a level 90 talent, and they have moved it to a level 75 talent uh, in place of Jagged Wounds. So now Jagged Wounds has been removed from the game. Jagged Wounds is no longer a talent for us. Savage Roar will be in place of that. And we can expect our Savage Roar to uh, change uh, our damage. Uh, it's going to change our increased damage by 10% and our energy regeneration by 10%. So it used to do 15% increased damage, it's now going to do 10% increased damage and it's going to increase our energy regeneration by 10% and the timers look the same. So yes, finally we get a buff. We actually have a buff to energy regen, you guys, a 10% buff. I mean, I would have liked to see a 10% overall buff plus the buff from Savage Roar, but you know what, now that we have, like, Savage Roar stacked with, um, our, uh, Berserk and stuff, it'll, it'll be okay. It'll be manageable, I mean, like, we're, it, it'll be better than what it is now, but it still sucks that that has to happen. We're getting another tier 6 talent called Scent of Blood. And what this will do is each enemy hit by Thrash reduces the cost of swipe by 3 energy for the next 6 seconds. And this is going to be replacing Sabretooth in the tier 6 talent. Um, and then the big one, the big two that I wanted to talk about is uh, the changes to Rip and the changes to Primal Wrath. Okay, so hope you guys are ready for this one because there is a lot of math involved. Well, not really a lot of math, but I had to do some math involved with uh, Rip and Primal Fury, or Primal Wrath. So here we go. So our Rip is getting a buff. They're reducing our energy costs from 30 to 20, and they've also changed the formula on how our Rip's going to produce damage, or essentially how it scales off of our gear. And I have a paste bin that I have all this math in. So all the math that I did today in, in Notepad to try to get some of these values that I'm about to talk about are in a paste bin. They're in the description. If you like, you can go open it up and follow along with me. Um, if not, I will post up uh, some of the screenshots on screen here as well. So here we go. So our new, our new RIT math is based off of our attack power, is, and, uh, well, is based off 25% of our attack power. So I've scaled my math on my current attack power in game right now, which is 4,884. So what I had to do is find 25% of 4,884, which is 1,221. So plugging that into our formula here, as you'll see popped up on screen, we're going to take, we're going to plug in 1,221, and then we're going to multiply that by how many combo points we have in RIP, right? So our formula here on the RIP tooltip says that it's for one combo point, we gotta multiply by two. For two combo points, we gotta multiply by three. For three combo points, we gotta multiply by four. So on and so forth. For five, you have to multiply by six. Okay, so 
with that information, now we're going to take that 1,221. We're going to multiply that. If it's a one combo point, we're going to multiply that by two. So that's going to equal out to 2,442. And then if we divide that by eight, it's going to tell us essentially how much DPS we'll get per second for eight seconds. It's not going to necessarily tell us what our damage ticks will be, but if it deals damage once a second, then it'll be 305 damage per second. Um, if not, then it just comes up to 305 DPS. So it probably won't tick once every second, it'll probably tick once every two or three, or like two, two and a half or so, or depending on how much haste you have. But in this, for math's sake, it's just doing it so that it'll tell you how much damage it's going to give you per second for eight seconds. So in this case, it comes up to 305. And uh, you'll see a pattern that the DPS on all the combo points comes up to 305, which is a different story compared to what the old formula for RIP was. So once we have our, we plug in the two for our, on our one combo point formula, once we get our 2,442, we multiply that by eight. Yeah, so we have all of our stuff there. So 2,442 damage is how much damage our dot is gonna do. And then we divide that by eight and that tells us how many seconds it's gonna tick for. So we can follow that formula for all of our combo points. So for, for two combo points, we'll take 1,221. We're gonna multiply that by three right, which gives us 3,663 damage, and then we're going to divide that over 12, which equals out to 305 DPS. So there's a pattern here. So what does this tell us? This tells us that no matter what or how many combo points we have on our rip, we are always going to be doing the same amount of damage. The only factor is how long it's going to do that damage for which is a big change from what our rip is doing now the formula for our rip now is it goes x multiplied by 2.7027 percent of attack power multiplied by 12 which equals y so now X in this particular formula is our combo point multiplier and Y is our damage output. So if we wanted to do the math on this, we would have to find out what 2.7027% of our attack power is. So we would take 4,884, we'd multiply that by 0 0.027027, which equals 132. So now we'll take that and we'll plug it into our formula here, which equals 132 times 12, which equals 1,584. So we can take that number into our formula. And all we have to do now is just take the amount of combo points that we have, multiply that by 1,584, because that's uh, 132, which is 2.7027% of our attack power, multiplied by 12, is where we got our, our 1,584 from. So all we got to do is take our combo point multiplier from this and just apply it to that number. So here, instead of going like the new formula where one combo point multiplies by two, this one just one combo point multiplies by one. So all we're doing here is just going one times 1584 equals y which is our damage so if we had one combo point with my current attack power i'm seeing 1584 total damage from my rip over 24 seconds which equals 66 dps or 66 damage per second for that 24 seconds right we can follow that pattern for two combo points we go two times 1584 equals 3168 divided by 24 for how many seconds are in rip and which equals 132 dps and then we just follow this three four until we get to five which is the same and uh, with five we'll just take five times 1584 equals 7920 divided by 24 for how many seconds are in rip once again and that equals 330 dps so there's an interesting thing we see here 
Rip is only going to be nerfed at 5 combo points once this goes live. So yes, our 5 combo point rips are going to be doing less damage or less DPS. However, every combo point leading up to that is actually doing more DPS. So what does this tell us? Well, this tells us that Rip if you combine with Sabretooth, most likely, we're not going to have to be applying 5 combo point rips anymore. In fact, 3 and 4 combo point rips are probably going to be the most energy efficient thing for us because a 3 combo point rip on the new formula is still giving you 16 seconds. And it's not changing your damage value or your damage output at all. It's just changing with the new formula, it's just changing how long it's going to do that damage for. So it's still going to tick for the same no matter how many combo points I use when the new formula when 8.1 goes live. So I hope you guys understand that. So I went and I took this a step further and I decided that I wanted to see what our energy efficiency change percentage was going to be in 8.1 and here is the data I found from that using my math and you know m m my math could be wrong I'm not a math guy by like any means I'm not huge into math I actually had my friend help me with this and this is kind of what we came up with so the formula what we what I wanted to do is I wanted to see how much damage each one was doing per one energy spent so with the old formula on rip so then, yeah, so with the, with the new formula with RIP, we are seeing with one combo point, we got 122 damage to one energy spent. With two combo points, we have 183 damage to every one energy spent, which goes up to, once we get to five combo points, so it goes from 122 up to 366 to one. So once again, that's damage to every one energy spent. So five combo points with the new formula, with my gear that I'm wearing right now, I'm, d I'm getting 366 damage per every one energy spent using a five combo point rip with, a n with the new formula. And my one combo point rips, I'm getting 122 damage for every one energy spent. So, what does this tell us? This kind of, this tells us that our rip is still more efficient the more combo points we have to every one energy spent. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's more efficient to use it at five combo points because we have Sabretooth to refresh that duration for free for us so we just want to get it up and have it up long enough to get that ferocious bite off. So we can still use three to four because it's still giving us pretty decent energy to damage uh, ratio or d damage to energy ratio. Okay now if we go to the old formula Right, and we plug in the old damage to the old rip or to the old rip energy cost of 30, we get much lower. So one combo point, we're only getting 53 damage to every one energy spent. With five combo points right now, we're getting 264 damage to every one energy spent. So that was interesting to me because this tells me that we're gonna have more energy to throw around, given the fact that rip costs less obviously so we're going to have more but we're going to be getting more damage out of all out of that energy as well so that's a good thing this is a buff for us now i compared both of them and if you wanted to find what the percentage increase in our energy efficiency is throughout one and five combo points with rip all we have to do is take the formula x minus y divided by one percent of of y equals z um, where x is the new rip energy efficiency value and y is the old rip energy efficiency value and x is the percent of change so 
what we do for one combo point or for just our thing for my example I'm going to use one combo point we go in brackets 122 minus 53 so X is 122 53 is Y which is our old formula and X is our new formula so 122 for 8.1 and 53 for 8.0 and then we divide that by 0.53 because that's 1% of Y and then that equals out to 130 so that tells me that the change when that change comes out if I was to apply a one combo point rate a uh, rip now compared to a one combo point rip when 8.1 goes live I will have a hundred and thirty percent increase in my energy efficiency so our damage now is going to be we're going to have more damage per energy spent so expect to see more consistent damage with your rip and not having to use as many combo points to get it which is the big thing okay um so that's kind of the changes for rip and that's my thoughts on rip so um to kind of just do a quick review and a quick wrap of that our rip is going to be more efficient per energy we're not going to have to utilize a five combo point rip to get the most damage out of it anymore and our dps will be the same no matter what combo point we use so our rip is going to be changing our combo points only affect how long it lasts now not how much damage it does if that makes sense. Overall the damage will change but the damage per tick you can expect to be the same now no matter what combo points you use compared to what it is now where it's always 24 seconds and the damage factor changes. Alright so I'm happy with the new rip changes I think this is a positive step for us I think all the changes I've talked about to this point are a positive step towards things for us uh, it's a positive direction um, now all right guys so now the one everyone's been talking about and everyone's excited for at least the people that have seen the patch notes and that's primal wrath so what primal wrath is is it's gonna be a new uh, AOE combo points spender so I actually made a prediction on this in my uh, feral druid video saying that there was rumors that there was gonna be an AOE combo point spender and I said that's exactly what we needed and that's exactly what we got so what Primal Wrath does, what the tooltip says, is it, it's a finishing move that inflicts instant damage and applies a rip to all enemies within 10 yards. Lasts longer per combo point. Awesome, so that's good. They also give us a formula. So I decided that I wanted to try to do some math on this. So the formula says 5% of attack power multiplied by X which would be the amount of uh, which would be your combo point multiplier for primal wrath plus our rip formula so it would be 1221 times y which is our combo point multiplier for rip and then divide that by z which is how many seconds uh, were given for our primal wrath so the way I do the math for it for one combo point I go 244 times 2 plus 1224 times 2 divided by 4 and then I have brackets accordingly so I solve uh, I solve my math so I got 488 plus 2442 and then I can divide that by 4 so what that will equal out to, right, is at the end of the day, what this tells me is my initial damage with one combo point is going to be 488 damage, plus it's going to do 2,442 damage for the total damage of my rip, and it's going to apply that rip over 4 seconds, which equals out to 611 uh, rip d DPS. To give us a total damage of 2930. So when I did this I thought it was kind of strange I might not be doing this right I'm not too sure I'm not a crazy math guy but given my math I think this is gonna get 
nerfed really fast because if we look at it math wise right at five combo points this thing is going to be hitting for an initial damage of 1464 plus a five combo point rip which is going to be 7326 damage which we already found out but instead of that bleeding over 24 seconds it's going to be bleeding over 12 seconds which gives us a DPS of 611 still, right, from our first combo point, which is the pattern that we'll see. But that's twice the DPS of RIP in the new formula, right? Like our new DPS formula for RIP is 305, and this is giving me 611. So unless these stack on top of each other, unless you can apply Primal Wrath and a RIP, I think Primal Wrath's going to get nerfed, and if you can apply Primal Wrath and a, nip, and a rip to the same target in single target, this is definitely getting nerfed. So don't get excited because this shit is going to hit like crazy. I'm really excited for it, but don't be surprised if this gets nerfed or hotfixed within the first week or two of this going live. Um, and I think that's pretty much all I had. Um, Mame is getting a boost as well. So yeah, Mame is getting a, uh, an attack power scaling boost as well with inside of their formula. So currently it's giving you 6.23, 22% of attack power multiplied by uh, X for your combo point multiplier. It's gonna be changing to 9.2%. So all in all, in short, uh, just a quick list of everything I've talked about again. Ferocious Bite no longer refreshes rip below 25%. Maim damage is increased by roughly 40%. Mastery also affects finishing moves, but we're unsure if that's going to double affect rip or not. Rip has been changed. Uh, the combo points now increase the duration instead of the damage. Uh, it's reduced the damage from 30 to 20. Um, it's like roughly an 8 to 9 percent damage nerf at five combo points, um, but it's a major buff to rip bef like one to four. One to four combo points is a major buff. Five combo points it's a nerf. So that just allows us to use it differently. I don't like to look at this as a nerf. Uh, we're still unsure with how Sabretooth is going to interact with this. Um, I'm trying to getting I'm trying to get on the PTR, but I just I'm having a really hard time. Um, our shred damage is going to be increased by roughly 20%. Uh, our new talent Primal Wrath is our AOE combo point spender. Savage Roar is getting changed from 15% damage to 10% damage and 10% energy regen, which is awesome. Uh, it's replacing Jagged Wounds on our talent tree. Uh, Jagged Wounds has been removed from the talent tree. Sabretooth replaces Predator. Predator replaces Blood Scent. Blood Scent has been removed. Um, and then a new talent, Scent of Blood. Uh, which Thrash reduces swipe energy cost by 3 per target hit for 6 seconds, and that replaces the place of Sabretooth, of where Sabretooth used to be. So just a quick touch on Scent of Blood. So Scent of Blood is going to share the same talent tree now as Brutal Slash and Primal Wrath. So I'm going to post up a picture of, of our new talent tree here, and I'm... Oh, kind of okay. I'm kind of taken back by this because there's still there's two talents I just don't want to see here. There's two talents that I just don't want to see on this tree because I just really believe we should just have them. They should just be a part of our kit and we should just have them. And the first one is Brutal Slash should be taken out of our talent tree and we should be given Brutal Slash and Swipe should just be taken out of the game and Scent of Blood should be specking off of Brutal Slash. And then replace this with something else. Anything else. Just not Brutal Slash, because we should have it all we should already have Brutal Slash. And then Savage Roar. We were kitted with Savage Roar for many expansions. They suddenly just decided to take it away. No. We should have our Savage Roar. The fact that we need to spec into a skill that gives us energy regeneration, something that we are so starved of for as a class right now, this just became the new 75 talent choice, right? Like this, our 75 and our 90 bracket talents 
are going to be Primal Wrath and Savage Roar. Almost everyone's going to be kidding that. Savage Roar needs to be taken out of our talent tree, and same with Brutal Slash, we need to be given these skills. Swipe needs to be taken away from Cat. Brutal Slash needs to replace Swipe. It can stay the way it is, right? It, it can stay the way it is with its cooldowns and with its energy cost, right? Like, it's getting reduced energy cost in uh, 8.1 to 25 from 30, right? Keep the cooldown. We don't need a non-cooldown swipe. We got a we got a uh, we got a lot of other skills now that we need to, that we can use. And then Savage Roar. Come on, it's always been kitted. Usually, um, it's not really hasn't really been a speckable thing. Get just give it back to us in part of our kit. The fact that I'm gonna have to be forced to spec into this now for the energy re regen is just BS. I should be able to still take Soul of the Forest or Incarn and still have access to my Savage Roar. This, this is lazy balancing, and I'm not. I like. I'm not happy. I mean, I know I'm not anything important, but like that to me, being an experienced Druid player, I don't like that. These two need to go, and these ta and these two spots need to be reevaluated in the talent tree. Brutal Slash and Savage Roar. Those two spots need to be reevaluated. Everything else, I'm happy with. I think this is a good step in the right direction, and then we'll see how our energy works. I, I guess we'll just see how our energy is going to scale um, going into 8.1 if they do any more energy tweaking. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for you. Those are my thoughts on what's going to be happening in the new expansion. Or not expansion, sorry. That's what's going to be happening in 8.1 with our new rework. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. I hope that you guys are getting excited for this like I am. I'm going to try to get some uh, PTR footage when I can so I can show you guys some of these changes. So uh, stay tuned for that. But that uh, those are the changes coming to Feral right now. We should be getting excited about it. Don't get upset. Nothing that is going to be coming our way is going to be a nerf directly. Um, the only thing I'm upset with is our loss in Jagged Wounds. However, whatever, because if we had Jagged Wounds, I feel like that wouldn't really work well with the new way that Rip works, with how it gives us, a, like, with how the combo points affect the time duration instead of the damage done. If we had Jagged Wounds, I feel like it would just tick too fast. So, I'm kind of upset Jagged Wounds is gone. But, I mean, they're changing a lot of other things so that we don't necessarily need the Jagged Wounds to make our rip and stuff. Well, our rip more so, more particularly tip faster. So, anyways, th those are my thoughts going into 8.1. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and an awesome night. And thank you guys again so much for the support. I'm looking so forward to 8.1. And I hope you guys are too. Peace.